be honest, when I knew that I was performing here, I, I didn't think about you people. <laughs> All I thought about was barbecue. <laughs> That's... Like... It is unbelievable how, like... I mean, I, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, you know? Which is huge. I don't know what that means, but... I think that's the noise a group of people make before they kill a blonde guy. But, but it is like, I mean, I... When I travel, I always eat the local food. You guys are like, oh, we can tell. But like the first time I, I came through Kansas City, I, uh, I was with my family and I was on a tour bus and uh, someone was like, you gotta get this barbecue on. You gotta get this barbecue on a gas station. You know? And I was like, and I was like, ha 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 ha, ha ha ha, I, I don't wanna be poisoned, ha ha ha. And I thought maybe it would be a converted gas station. It's a working gas station. <laughs> so I went in there and I was like, okay. And there was, I saw all these fat bald guys <laughs> in line. And, and you know, when you see fat old guys in line, they're usually angry. <laughs> like, well, this isn't worth it. Like a fat old guy would not stand in line for diapers for his own child. <laughs> ah, they can just shit on the ground, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but all these fat old guys <laughs> were in line and there, were, they, they, there was a joy about them. <laughs> there was a joy, a happiness. Like, I'm like, are they giving out free TVs up here or what? They were like, ah. It was amazing, and I stood in this line, uh, you know, by, uh, you know, with other men that were fat and old like me. And this, you know, normally, you know, other guys that don't talk to each other, like, I don't want to talk to you. But it was just like giddy, like be like, oh, what are you getting? <laughs> what are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? I quit my job to be here. It's just, it's unnatural how much, because there is, you know, there's Oklahoma Joe's, which is now Kansas City Joe's, but there's so many places that serve amazing barbecue here. And I know you guys are probably like, I'm loyal to my place, the other place sucks. <laughs> but I've traveled all over places where they serve barbecue, all the places here, it's just like, it's unnaturally a concentration of amazing barbecue. <laughs> it is. And I, I want it to stop <laughs> because I've yet to come here. And I feel like I have to, because there's so many places that serve good barbecue, I feel like I have to get more than one. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm here for 12 hours and I've had barbecue three times. <laughs> like, that's, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. But it is so good. It's so good. Hi everyone, I'm Jim Gaffigan, and I am slowly eating myself to death and no one's stopping me. No, I am in Kansas City, the barbecue capital of the world, which is pretty interesting because barbecue is typically a southern thing, but I've had barbecue in Kansas City every time I come here, and barbecue is a very special thing. This is the presidential platter, and everyone who wants to be president of the United States must eat this. Now this is from Gates. What's interesting in Kansas City is there's so many different barbecue places. There isn't just one because it's barbecue. It's not like someone invented the wing or invented this and other people are copying it. And so this is the presidential platter from Gates Barbecue, which is one of the two big ones, I think. And then this is from Smokehouse. And I, you know, I feel overwhelmed, but my mouth is watering right now. And I feel like this is an old friend, Wonder Bread. I know it would surprise you to learn that I 
grew up eating white bread, but I did. I don't even think this is bread. I don't know what it's made of. I used to just, I'd eat it after school by the slice because I'm white trash. I don't know. Wonder Bread went out of business and someone brought it back because it's American. Let's dig in. My mouth is watering. This is the president's platter. I don't know what president. All right, so we've got ribs, chicken, pickles. These are links. I'm gonna go link first. I know I shouldn't. There should be pork, pulled pork. Well, also Kansas City, this is more beef up here. That's good, it's got some spice. And it's interesting, the pickle, the andouille, but that it has a little spice to it. Cleanse the palate, right? I assume this platter is not just for one person, but this is a mukbang. Is it mukbang? Mukbang. Called mukbang. Mukbang. Oh, so that's ham. That's interesting. But it's got like a little bit of everything. That is turkey. So, let's try it. So Gates is supposed to be, have good ribs, I think. Mm. Oh my gosh. They have so many different, it's a good spice. And it's a not, very vinegary. But, I like vinegar. Well, that's good. And now I don't, you know, like these different places, some of them are known like, oh, you gotta get the beans here. You gotta get this, you gotta get. Like I'm used to, oh, this is the pork. Or is that brisket? You'd think I would know something. Like how often can I eat barbecue and still know nothing? Wow, that's good. To really, I don't know how people in Kansas City don't weigh a thousand pounds. Now the baked beans, Baked beans, baked beans, baked beans, baked beans, 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 beans. My daughters like baked beans, but I like baked beans. Potato salad. It's weird. I was in Austria and I went to this place. They were like, "Oh, you want you want you gotta get the uh, schnitzel," and so you get the schnitzel, and then they give you potato salad, and you're like in this restaurant. Like, I just think of potato salad as so casual. But what's great about potato salad is that it's good at any temperature. That's good potato salad. That's great potato salad, by the way. All right, now I feel like I should try this other stuff. Let me let me open up my old friend, Wonder Bread. Um, you wanna know what I used to do? So I used to sit there and I would watch the Dick Van Dyke show and they had like a laugh track and I didn't know what people were laughing at, but I was like six. That was back when nobody would pay attention to kids. So this is, I'm mixing. This is from, where's this from? Smoke? Smokehouse. Smokehouse. I would watch the Dick Van Dyke show. Like, Wonder Bread just feels different. So I'm gonna try their sauce. Oh, that's a little sweeter. I feel like I'm more vinegar than sweet. That's not to say that I dislike it, but I would watch it and I would eat these slices of Wonder Bread over and over. That was my childhood. Wow. And see, where I grew up, in Northwest Indiana, which is a great place, there were some ethnic foods, but it must have been, it must be fascinating to grow up in Kansas City where there was such a rich barbecue tradition. Obviously, in the Southeast, there's a huge barbecue tradition, but. Mmm. Wow. What's amazing about barbecue is like, it's either the best food you've ever had or food that you resent that you've taken the time to eat. Does that make sense? I mean, you still finish it. Too. You're not a weirdo. What's interesting about barbecue? No cheese. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? No, where is the cheese? I don't know. Uh, I'm just thinking about that. That's really good. But you know, of the napkins and the mess of barbecue and the sauce, it does look like you're dismembering a body. All right, so now I'm gonna try one of these ribs from Smokehouse. Smokehouse. And look at that. That's a big dinosaur bone, right? Wow, that's a commitment. That's good. I mean, 
there's a care and a consistency to making good barbecue. I mean, what, I'm not gonna act like I know how to do it, but there's multiple ingredients, even in that sauce. I feel like I should hit, I mean, this bone is so big, I feel like I hit someone with it. That's a bigger bone. See here, let me show the, this. So we're having barbecue together. Like the whole like barbecue has so many meanings, right? It's like, are you at a barbecue? Are you invited to a barbecue? Sometimes I remember jokes I've done. I'm like, eh, that's why I have a joke on that. It's hard to eat a rib without looking like a caveman. Right? I mean, these are the ribs of an animal that I'm just <laughs> eating and tearing with my teeth because I love animals. I mean, I love animals. And again, these beans, it's not like they weren't torn from the ground. What if I thought beans came from a tree? You know, the bean tree? These are really good. It's, you know, it's also like, I'm sleeping in my bed by myself in my hotel, so it's not like, beans are so soothing. My daughter Mari loves beans. All right, so this is the brisket, right? Oh, burnt ends. Burnt, burnt, burnt ends. Like, I love meat, but I feel like some people go so far as to like, like, I love meat so much, I love the bone marrow. And um, some people are like, I love meat so much, I just like the fat of the meat. It's like, in the end, I prefer the meat meat. I mean, obviously I could be here for forever, but I just wanted to eat with you. By the way, barbecue, my teeth right now are just so filled with meat. Mm. All right, Gates has got some good sausages, but I don't know if they make them there. They probably buy them from someplace. And then a pickle. So I wonder if there's pickles are different. See, this is Smokehouse Pickles, and this is Gates' Pickles. It's interesting. The Gates' Pickles are less vinegary than theirs, but the Gates' sauce is more vinegary. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? Because I don't. I feel like I didn't make a dent in any of this, but I'm glad I got to spend some time with you. And I know I have to start eating healthier. But if you'd subscribe, maybe I'll go on a diet. Wouldn't it be great if I just threw up right now? So, yeah. I mean, that would, be, that would make it viral probably, right? All right. I love you so much. Wow. That was amazing. I feel like we really connected. I think you're ready to move the relationship to subscribe. If the button wasn't down there. Subscribe. Just do it. Do it.